Good morning, friends. It's Lee, and welcome to Beauty Over 70 with Lee. Today we're going to be doing a little get ready with me. Now this is not going to be an entire full, full face. This is going to be products that I use when I'm not filming, just kind of like on an everyday basis. If I'm around the house, uh, if I have an emergency and I want to need to run out and I don't want to get caught looking like this, in other words, or if I need to go to the supermarket or uh, have a doctor's appointment, everyday errands, you know, you need to go get your hair done, you get your nails done, just, just errands, shopping whatever. But these are things that, like I said, if I'm not filming, that I reach for daily. Even if I'm just around the house to make me feel better. These are products that I use. So I try my best to stick with, um, with the drugstore for that and not use my high-end products you know, just for every day because I really can't afford that. Now we're talking color, only color from makeup, which is foundation, eyeshadow, lipstick, blush, that, not skincare. I filmed a skincare video earlier, so I already have on my skincare. Um, everything is prepped and ready to go. If you're new, I thank you for stopping by my channel today, and I hope you enjoy the content. And if you do, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the like button. It really helps me out and share my video. Thank you so much. So let's get going with this video. Like I said, skincare is already done. So the first thing I'm going to start with is a primer. And the primer that I reach for daily, on a daily basis, is the Benefit Professional in a tube. It's the little aqua tube. And that I love that for every day. It has a little bit of a, um, a color to it. And I always work off the back of my hand. And I'm going to squirt that out. It's a good primer. I mean, for drugstore, I get mine at Ulta, but it is a good, it's a good primer. It really is. Hope you're doing great today. A foundation, and that's the foundation that I reach for and have been reaching for lately ever since I tried it. And it's the CoverGirl Simply Ageless. I use the Natural Ivory, and it's number 215. And it just screws off. And since I found this back the end of the year of 2023, last year, I absolutely like this foundation for every day. It's a great foundation, even if you're going out. I'm going to use my It Cosmetics double-ended brush to apply that. And I'm just dipping in. There's not anything wrong with this foundation. It It is a great. There's something about it's hard to talk when you're working around your mouth, right? SPF of 28. A 28. And I love the fact that Makeup now, foundation now has sunscreen in it, but you still need to put that sunscreen. And I don't put a lot, I don't put an awful lot at all. And I'm going to go, what's left on my brush, I will go right over my eyes since I'm not going to be doing an eyeshadow base today. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. concealer. And I'll list all of these with the shade and everything that I use in the description box. I don't put a lot. Very, very little bit of Laura Mercier powder. I'm just going to set that just a tad. 
very, very lightly, just to set that as I do want it to stay. Okay, let's do something with these brows. A good old e.l.f. $3 pencil in Auburn, and I switch between Auburn and I think it's a light brown. Auburn and light brown. It depends on when I get color, when I need color, okay? <laughs> I'm going to take the spoolie. These little pencils are $3. I take the spoolie and just brush up my brows. This brow, the right one, I have the most problems with. This eye is larger, so when I do my eyes, I have to kind of work on this right eye to compensate because why is it when we get a little bit older you see people one eye is larger and more droopy it's life you know it's life that's a retractable pencil i'm sure everybody has heard or have tried or have the little elf three dollar pencil it is three dollars where i get it anyway i'm just put a little point right there and a little point right there this brow, like I said, I have problems with this one. It doesn't come in as far. Over tweezing, loss of hair, whatever. And I'm going to put a dot right here. And I'm going to put a dot right here. Or get me a guideline. And then I'm just going to fill in. Like I said, this is everyday makeup. I'm not going to... A big ball or anything or anything super special this is just every day to get me to the grocery store to the elf perfect finish HD it's just a white powder and I like this for every day see it's just a white compact and I'm going to use my brush. I'm just going to puff it on, blot it, and kind of set everything. Now, when I do an everyday look like this, just around the house or whatever, I'm not going to contour. I'm not going to do any of that. I just set it with just a little bit of that powder that I just showed you. This is Every Day is My Little Elf Love You a Latte. And I just opened a new one. Love You a Latte, these little $3 elf. This one is my favorite. I absolutely love this. It's very, very neutral. The light color right here, and I just put a wash color over my entire lid. Very simple. In case somebody comes to the door and I don't want to scare them to death. So even if I don't go out of the house, I just feel better having a little bit of foundation on. In this color, the second color right here next to the dark, I'm going to dip in that and just put a look straight in there. Since I have hooded eyes, I'm going to look straight and relax my eye and just put a dot. And I'm just going to blend that down. Okay, so I have that on. And I'm going to take my darker color. The darkest color in the palette. The same brush. Just cleaned it off. And I'm going to put a little bit right in here. Just a touch. A flat brush, and I'm going to put a little bit of the light color that I started with right here. mascara on and tight line and I'll be right back. Finishing up tight lining my eyes with my brownstone Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty is the brand. Brownstone is the color. 
you have if you've been with me for a while you know this is my favorite favorite brand of eyeliner pencil I have it in four colors it only comes in four colors that I know of so I get mine on Amazon that's where I get mine and I'm just going to finish tight lining this in brownstone And I brushed a little bit of mascara along the bottom lashes. I don't put, I'm not going to tight line down there, but I'm going to take just a little bit and put connect this corner. Just bring it in just a touch. Quite halfway. But very simple. Very simple. That's all I do. Just get me so unpresentable. That's what I want to be. And my blush that I use every day or run into the store or to the doctor is depending on the clothes that I'm wearing. Today I, it's cold and I just have on this, this oatmeal colored sweater. Blush and my lipstick and lip liner is going to depend on what clothes I'm wearing. Weary and snowy and icy and cold. So I think I'm going to go with um, a couple of colors today. Something a little bit, that give me a little bit of brightness. Maybe a couple of colors. Sometimes I do that. I like to mix them. Uh, kind of on, I'm going to use these two colors right here. Kind of a corally. It looks orange when I hold it up, but believe me, it's not. Real liner pencil. So let's line these lips, get some color going. And I'm not going to base in my lips with this liner, not for every day I'm not. If I was one of my 64 lipsticks, <laughs> sinful, sinful. It's Nemo Go Home, and it's by Olac, O-U-L-A-C. It looks kind of bright, but I need bright today. It's Nemo Go Home. Color's going to be great for spring. magnetic rather magnetic cap and I think I'm going to go over that with just a little bit of another color and the same brand of lipstick and I'll list these in the description box I'm going to use one of the NYX Butter Gloss, these little three bucks or so, these little butter glosses in Fortune Cookie. I put just a little bit of gloss on these, these lips. Fortune Cookie. I think I got a tad too much, right? That'll brighten me up a little bit, right? know exactly what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a Milani blush in Luminoso. Luminoso. Can't beat that. One of my all-time favorites. That'll be perfect with this lipstick, right? Look at that. Look how perfect that is. And use my, I always label my brushes. I have several and I have them for pink and coral and brown and red. And you see how I label that? Blend and tap. I think this will be make me feel a lot better on this dreary, dreary day. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to use my skin 
Divine Elixir today just to add this luminous skin oil. It's one of my holy grails. Uh, this is one of my desert island. I have used on this forever. I do have a backup because I thought they're going to run out of this stuff. I like it so well. I've ordered a backup and I have used this forever and look how much I've used. It doesn't take very much. Let me show you how I use this before I do something with my hair and make myself some earrings on and make myself and come back and say goodbye to you. So I'm going to take, it has a dropper and it's a one ounce and I always squirt it out because I don't need very much at all. I'm going to put a few drops you can see me dropping it out. I'm going to put just a few drops, a couple of drops around my fingers and I'm just going to rub it. And what I'm going to do, I'm bring back my mirror, is I'm going to pat. Is I'm just going to pat this. It gives me a glow. You don't want to rub it. You just want to pat. And what's left, just rub it on the back of your hand. And you see what that does? It just gives you a little glow. The skin is dry and I needed just a little bit of glow. My friends, I'm going to do something with this hair and put on some earrings and I'll be right back so please stay with me. I'm back and I hope a little bit better. This is the look that I done for my everyday whether I'm going out of the house or whether I'm going to the grocery store. Nails done, my hair done, just to run a quick errand or if somebody comes to the door. No, uh, I'm not going to maybe have on all this jewelry if I go out, but if I go out, I'm going to put on some kind of jewelry. Uh, I normally, as a rule, will put on earrings every day. Even if I'm around the house, I just feel better in just a pair of earrings. So, But if I go out, I will put on a matching necklace or some staple necklaces that I always wear. But today, uh, like I said, I just have on this, it's very cold, I just have on this oatmeal sweater. Um, and it's very, very warm. And I'm glad I put this on today. And let me scoot up. I put on some turquoise. Turquoise always brightens you up on a cold, dreary, snowy, icy day, right? So that's one of my turquoise necklaces and some matching earrings. And I did add a little turquoise bracelet. I love turquoise. I have quite a collection. And um, I don't wear it that much, but I do wear it in, I love it with brown in the fall. I love turquoise and brown together. It's two of my favorite color combinations to wear in the fall so I do like that it's just very um, it's very appealing to me and I love the turquoise color as well I thank you for staying with me and allowing me to do this little get ready with me today basically I'm going to repeat myself I just use products that I'm using when I'm not filming every day if I wear every day this is my everyday look if I'm just around the house if I'm just going to the grocery store running a quick errand, it just makes me feel better. If I get up, get dressed, clean my face, do my skin care. We didn't do any skin care with this. This is just color. When I mean color, I mean foundation and then lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, brows, whatever. Just, just that down. And today, I, I believe I used 14 products. And... As a, and I added this little skin divine elixir over just to give a little bit of a glow. Thank you for watching today and if you haven't subscribed I invite you to take the opportunity and think about hitting that subscribe button coming back to see me and hit the thumbs up. It does help me out and I would so appreciate that. I will have a video for you next Thursday and I want to leave you with my favorite word.
words. Go out and make today better than yesterday and always remember that I love you. Come back to see me, my friends. Have a fantastic rest of the week. Bye-bye.